everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today is the greatest day in the whole summer but we have the bright news today because we will be reviewing why we I will be reviewing <laughs> um, several products from the new range of uh, botanics if you don't know the Botanics brand, this is the brand that is famous for its uh, natural ingredients in their products and they are, this month they are launching a new campaign that is called The Plant One and I was asked to be the ambassador for their new campaign for the whole year which is actually a major thing for me because that was just right around my alley. When they asked me this, I thought, okay, this is the organic brand and I'm all for bio organic products. If you watch my videos, you know that most of my skincare products are from pharmacy or the bio shops or I don't know, anything that is natural is for me. So I'm so excited that I have a chance to test, to try new products and tell you all about it. Okay, let's start from the, let's start with the thing that I love the most. I have several products to review, so I'm gonna talk about my favorite from all that I have is this uh, refreshing toning spritz. It's a rose water um, spritz. I don't know if you're focusing. Has a focus or not? Okay. And this is basically the best facial spray I've ever tried. It's not only good as a like refreshener or a toner, it's also good as a makeup uh, fixer. Like I don't go even one day without spraying um, it pretty much like 100 times on my face. <laughs> I'm completely addicted to it. It has a rose hip in it and it's 100% organic. So this is like amazing. It has the most beautiful rose uh, smell and it's so fresh. It's, it's just so boosting. It boosts you up on a spot. This is the first thing I do in the morning. I just spray it all over my face. I think it has some anti-inflammatory uh, qualities to it. And since it's a rose hip, rose infused water, it also have a natural vitamin C in there. So beautiful product. This is my favorite from the range at the moment. I still haven't tried all of it, but from what I have, this is what I love the most. Now, I have two creams, the facial creams to review and I've tried them, both of them. These are, they come in this packaging. It's a kind of a like rustic packages. One has a rose hip in there and one is, has a hibiscus flower. So um, actually I have to show it to you because it's amazing. Inside, when you open, like normally you have a ton of paper coming out uh, with a description of the product and the botanics they make a really nice uh, like earth friendly thing they wrote the information of the product inside the box so basically they use the paper that is of the box is for the description and you can find it here on each side the same thing goes with this cream but okay I'm going to Talk, I'm going to talk about the creams. They look like this, these pretty bottles. Actually, they remind me of uh, La Durée, you know, the macarons. Now, this one is a rose hip um, cream, 81% uh, organic. This has also a sh uh, cacao butter in there and a yoba oil, which are perfect if you have uh, normal to dry skin. It said that it's for all type skin, skin types, but I found this cream a little bit um, more rich than this one that has a hibiscus flower in there. Also, well, I have a very like I have a very thin skin, not sensitive but thin skin, which means that everything that is like too heavy and has ingredients like a cow butter or shea butter or coconut butter, they a little bit weigh on me. It, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing for my skin, but it means that I will feel the cream. This one, uh, they're practically more or less the same in texture, but this one is a little bit light, lighter, lightweighted. Like, 
I don't feel it as much on my skin as this one which means that probably this rose hip cream I will use in colder months like maybe winter when my skin is a little bit on a drier side and um, yeah I love that it has a little bit of a plumbing effect I, I felt like it has like um, because of a cacao butter it has like a smoothness to it I'm still in the process of trying I didn't have like a month to try it because it was launched only this month but from what I from what I uh, felt and tested I do believe I repeat myself that it's a little bit for people with a on a drier side skin than on a like sensitive or like oily this hibiscus uh, flower cream um, it has also 15 uh, 15 SPF which is great because here for instance in Barcelona we have um, I mean it's very sunny obviously you feel like oh SPF 15 uh, you need a separate uh, SPF for sure yes if you go to the beach but for me for instance and most of the people we do our runs outside before 12 because at 12 it's so hot no one is outside until like 5 in the evening which means that be before 12 the sun is not exactly at its peak so 15% of as percent well just 15 SPF is pretty much enough for me and um, yeah unless you go to the beach as I said so basically this cream is a little bit lighter and this is what I actually have been using more and it's uh, also very nice uh, before makeup because it also has a texture it doesn't leave like a tackiness on your skin but it's not like absorbs on a spot so you're like without cream which is great because if you have a normal skin or some little dry patches on your skin it still will feel very hydrating which is really good okay did I mention that actually biscuit flower is a flower that has an effect of radiance it's a brightening actually it's called it's a brightening uh, cream it's from the range all bright and uh, that's also the reason why I love this cream because I am sleep deprived because I have small babies and I actually all the products I'm using for my skin is uh, has a brightening effect that's why I was very excited about this cream yeah this is the creams and um, the last product that I've tried is also from the old brand uh, range and this will be the this is a purifying face scrub for all skin types I don't exactly use the scrubs that have grains in there this one has not very abrasive to the skin yet I felt it a little bit and it a little bit like tingled my skin which doesn't mean that it's a not a good product because this is a really good product I felt like it really brightened up my skin the only thing that is my preferences to the scrubs and peelings are like I don't choose that kind of a scrub I normally go for a peeling cream or like peeling mask so um but I do feel like if you have an oily skin this will be perfect for you because the grains are really really small it has um uh with the okay it has a micro fine particles of walnut shell uh crushed apricot seeds and refining HAs uh from the hibiscus plant so yeah even though this is not exactly uh, my type of a scrub I do feel like it it's a really good scrub especially if you have a like a skin that and you like the scrub with the little grains then it's perfect anyhow I love this scrub and probably I'll be using on my neck or on my hands because you know these the hands also need some scrubbing to do and this is pretty much it so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll be uh, posting you on the new products from Botanics regularly this year and uh, see you next uh, week. Bye bye.